Hello, my name is Jay, and I'm making this video for people that currently have Ryzen and are trying to figure out if they want to upgrade with the new Ryzen 2 coming out. If you are someone that is using an old, older AMD version like an Athlon or something, or you're using something along the Intel lines, that can be discussed later, and I'm sure there's plenty of videos out there saying how great the multi-cores are for workstation tasks while, you know, the gaming stuff is different. But I really want to make today's video to talk about the upgrading, you know, is it worth it to upgrade? <coughs> Because if you don't know, all you really need to upgrade is just your chip. Um, the old socket is still supported. So the only thing you're really going to be missing out on is, is maybe the new chipset. But what we really think, in order to start this video off, I think it's most important that we actually know what this new Ryzen will have. Now, you know, people that have been sitting around with Ryzen for a while, I got my 1800X a while back um, last June, back when GPU prices were surprisingly cheap as well. I really thought it's a... It's a definitely a powerhouse it's great for editing and it does everything it ne I need it to do but the big question I want to answer today is you know s sitting at you know when it's only 300 bucks and 300 bucks is a good investment as well for especially a computer is it worth it to go through and upgrade the CPU or you know just you know tough it out and we'll see what happens so first off let's talk about what's new in these chips I'm going to mostly be referring to the Ryzen 2700X um, and comparing it to my 800X since that's the closest comparable model but I do want to point out the fact that, you know, this will mostly, some of the, most of these things will pretty much apply to anybody. So as I said, if you're considering upgrading something from, you know, like a lower Ryzen model, like a Ryzen 5 or a Ryzen 3, up to something like a Ryzen 7, or just, you know, going up the chain, I think that if you jump the generation, I think you could see a little bit better performance. And of course, you, you know, the memory controllers and things like that that are in the uh, chips would also allow you to get better performance. As for the top tier model, if you want to upgrade or get something that's the exact same but higher model, I would say almost go for a you know older version just to get more power out of it. Because what you're really going to notice is, well, yes, we do have better memory controllers in Ryzen 2. Yes, we do have some better overclocking capabilities. The amount of you know, I don't know um, gigahertz increase is not that substantial. So it really is going to make a difference in all the stuff that you are trying to do, especially for those YouTubers, things like that, are the more cores. And so I feel like if you were to upgrade, you know, along the line, then, you know, you'd get to eventually the point where, you know, you'd have enough cores and, and eventually you always have that ab ability to upgrade. But um, now for the top line people, like, for example, myself, we really want to answer that question, will, you know, should you upgrade? Now, the memory controllers are good in part because of the chip, but also in part of this new chipset, the X470 um, chipset. I made a video on it talking about it, I believe, yeah, cut last week, I think. But um, basically, the motherboard itself also has better memory controllers and allows for a little bit better overclocking as well. So, you know, speaking of core counts and all the stuff that Ryzen 2 really offers, yes, it's better memory controller, yes, it's better power efficiency, Yes, there's a long list, and yes, you already have a chip to upgrade it with, because you have to update the BIOS first. You really are left in a situation where you're not going to see substantial gains for an 800X um, to a 1700X. And I doubt even a 1700X to a 2700X is still going to be that substantial. If you're really needing that much of a difference in core speeds and, you know, just the clock speeds in general, then you probably should have gone with Intel for, you know, whatever you're doing, most likely gaming on a game that is very poorly optimized and made. So, that being said, if you are, you know, trying to debate whether or not you should upgrade, there is no good reason to upgrade as of the moment unless something comes out with more cores. Me, my 1800X, I'm going to be looking at a Threadripper when those prices come down, just for the simple fact of trying to render 4K video is a pain. So that being said, Keep that in mind if you are, you know, looking to upgrade. There's always something higher up the list in a past generation that will get you more performance, especially assuming the fact that if you got a top tier Ryzen, you probably are doing something along the workstation tasks that you most likely are also going to want to move into Threadripper at that point and save your money and put that to, to a Threadripper, which obviously is substantially more expensive, but just keep that in mind that offers a lot more performance and, of course, a little bit of hopefully a lot longer lasting socket. And maybe we'll even see some upgrades coming out and a newer model coming out later this year. But um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have questions, there's always the comment section. And I want to make this video because, like, it's a question I asked. I did my research and I was like, it doesn't seem that substantial to me. Like, I understand memory controllers will definitely boost performance. You get better, you know, memory overclocking. That's great. 
And I know Infinity Fab, how Infinity Fab works. It, you know, the RAM helps it increase the you know, performance, all that stuff. But it really, overall, does not seem like something that's worth another blowing, you know, 350 bucks on a new processor when, you know, what you have right now is doing just fine for rendering workloads, has the same amount of cores, and just has a slightly higher clock speed. I just kind of really want to make that point for people out there. And of course, if you're upgrading from down the line, you know, depends on what you need. If you need those higher clock speeds for gaming, uh, you want to upgrade to more cores, like something like four, uh, four or six cores, then go for it, especially from Horizon 3. But if you're, you know, trying to get, you know, more performance in like workstation tasks, upgrade um, the same model and save a little bit more money or the same generation and save a little bit of money. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, as I said, give it a thumbs up. Comment section is in case you need anything like that. And go check out my channel for other cool tech related things. Goodbye.